Hi everyone and welcome to Power Plays. I'm Harry and today we're going to be continuing our Two Point Hospital adventure. We're going to be getting that second star here in Duckworth. So, as you know, Duckworth is a bit of a different hospital because you don't get any money for diagnosis or for treatment. You only get them from doing these public targets. So you can see my next public target is to train a doctor. Already got a doctor on the way to being trained. So that'll be a nice bit of money for us. You can see we've got an emergency already on the way. Nearly done though. And we've already passed it, so not too worried. And the two star requirements, cure 100 patients, staff morale, reputation, and hospital level to 12. Gonna be no problem at all. The, uh, what's going to be the difficult part is lasting long enough to cure a hundred patients because you're constantly you've got no way of making money so you need to essentially keep doing all these tasks and challenges in order to get that money and last long enough to get those hundred patients Sorry, dramatic pause there, because I forgot what I was saying. So first off, I'm going to build another psychiatry just to get that queue down. I've got them being trained, so you can see I just lost a bit of money there. I do need to hire another psychiatrist. I can't right now. Oh, another GP. That would be great. Let's get rid of these, because I don't need them. I would like another GP. Let's get that doctor trained and we'll get our monies. And I believe, yeah, you're on the way, Sam, to getting that research in. Thank you very much, buddy. And there we go. So, ooh, they're a decent psychiatrist. Unfortunately, we're not buying what they're selling. So we now have four GPs, which is perfect for the amount of GP rooms we got. We could do with another psychiatrist though, for sure. Um, we got two treatment doctors for the resolution lab, so that's perfect. I'm actually just gonna make sure that they can do everything when I eventually get there. Nurses, we've got loads of nurses. We've actually got two treatment nurses and no treatment room. So let's build a treatment room. So what have we got for nurses? Um, we could, oh, I mean, we have nurses with the injection. Yeah, we've got one nurse with the injection. So really we could build an injection room and get that nurse to work. Or we can build, say, a pest control. Um, we could do a chromotherapy, a clown clinic. Hmm, what to do? Let's go for a chromotherapy and I'm going to build it. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to build it over here and this is going to start to become our treatment area. So you can see where the patient's going to go. You can see the little foot marks. Let's just make sure we have it relatively close to the door. We got a console because that's where our nurse is going to go. Nearly said doctor. A little fire extinguisher because it is a machine and a radiator to keep it nice and toasty. So bang out these gold stars, spread them nice along the room, make sure we're covering everywhere. Anytime now, there we go. And mm, I'm gonna get a janitor to upgrade that machine, get it done straight away. All right, we can see over there we go. We got 10 gram from that emergency, happy days. And our nurses, we got, yeah, so we now got them going to work in the treatment. So what we got, train a janitor. Can definitely train a janitor. In fact, train the janitor I just set to work. Let's get them trained in mechanics. It's going to put us really close on the money side. We could actually put the training room. If we move this side, we put we could move this to there and put the training room here because it's also close to the helipad. Let's see. So you can see we're in the red for the money, but it's not going to last too long. So don't worry too much. We're going to get this janitor trained and we're going to get that 50K. 
And if you ever get public targets that you don't like or you don't think you're going to be able to do, like build a certain room, etc., you can just get rid of them and delete them. However, it will affect your reputation. That shouldn't matter too much. Like you should be able to get your reputation up fairly quickly. As you can see, I've not really had a problem with reputation in this hospital, especially when you're doing things like the celebrity visits They should go well, especially if you're following this guide. And then, yeah, you should be able to smash this out pretty easily. So send them home because I don't have a surgery. No surgeons right now, but let's get that money in. And we've already cured 10 out of 100 patients, so we're doing well. We're doing well. Injection room. Ah, I was going to build an injection room, but I now have no monies. But let's see what what's our next task. Water 10 plants. It's like they knew. It's like they knew I needed an easy one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Put this here though. Change it up a tiny. Uh, why, why am I being so fussy over this? No, I'm going to leave it here. Done. All right. So we have some space to do some training and what do we want so we, we need a training that yeah we need a training that no no actually no I don't, I don't want to train them we need a training that we can do in-house so I am gonna train one of the GPs for now because I'm gonna get them I don't want to take three GPs off at least here I'll have two GPs still on the on the job and once these plants have been watered, I'm going to build that injection room. I could move things like... Nah, ah, 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 ah. Move the pharmacy over here, because this is going to be our treatment area. And I should probably also move the resolution lab over here. Put that doctor back in there because that's going to be my new training area uh, training area my new treatment area there we go and then this eventually i'll um put the I'll probably move this now just to make it easier that will fit nicely there there we go Mm. That's great. Let's put it there. We've got our research done. So let's get straight back at it. Sorry, Sam. I'm just going to keep going at you. Where's our training room? How's our training doing? 14 days. So I am going to pick Ruby up. I'm going to get Ruby to start being trained. I know that means that we're one down on the old GP's room, but one of them's going to be right back out there soon. There we go. All energized because you get energized while being trained. They'll be ready to rock and roll. That's why quite often I always pick um, staff members that are re like going to go on break soon and train them because then you're two birds, one stone. So we've got 20 patients cured. We're really getting through this at a nice quick rate. We're getting those research points in. That'll get us to 200. Nice amount of trainings in. I, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling positive about this hospital, guys. Look at that, people getting promoted left, right, and center. Right, you can see that our GPs need to be hurry come on hurry up there we go ah whoopsie what's happened there we got one two three four oh all the trainings complete now ha huh. whoopsie so let's get this doctor trained 
treatment level two we can do that in house oh who else could get trained in treatment level two there we go drop you in there was there anyone else yes there was let's get all three of you in in 100k unlikely unlikely to happen but we always give it a go and uh, no no surgery and sam sorry putting you back to work we really need to get those research points but you're smashing it for me absolutely smashing it for me we got 21 patients cured hustle level nine pretty good world's got some big news that's right. I just found out last mm. week's fireworks were staged to send messages that you They're good. seen from outer space. Oh, I can't hire them just yet. Oh, so now I can. For any unusual Let's just pause this because I want to make sure that this doctor is only working in treatment. So it's going to be because we, we are going to do another um, treatment room pretty soon. Uh, didn't I promise an injection room as well? I promised an injection room. So let's get that done at some point soon. Get in there. Unblock eight toilets. We haven't had this one yet, but essentially that's all you got to do. And as soon as someone uses one, you can then put them back in there again. A bit of a queue at our GP's room. Yeah, a bit of a queue. Well, got some more monies. Training course completed. Training done. Injection room, 15k. So let's get this injection room done. Stick that there. Let's... Ah, I was about to say we want to get it finalised before that happened. Oh well send everyone home and look as soon as someone uses a toilet we'll then be able to flag it to be unclogged so sorry I don't want to zoom in and watch them but there you can see that toilet can be unclogged now so can this one and then hopefully this one too very shortly there we go any trainings we can do um, let's get this assistant trained. Stamina training. And um, we'll get them trained by that janitor. Anyone else for stamina training? Nah. So we need to just up the pace a bit on getting these toilets done. Um, because otherwise we're going to be in a bit of a tighter spot for money. So hopefully someone uses the toilet sometime soon. There we go. So you can see 59, minus 59 now. So even if we get this straight, well, it's relatively soon, we're not going to have enough money to not be in debt. So oh, and we have our first epidemic. So guys, uh, this, is, this is an interesting one. I actually don't like it. I find them quite frustrating. But essentially, there are going to be patients around the hospital that will have a particular symptom and in this case it's going to be the mummification symptom so they're essentially going to be walking around like a mummy and if you treat if you essentially inject them and i'll show you how um they will be cured and once you've cured everyone then pandemic over well epidemic over and so you can see we start off with four infected people and we've got 20 vaccinations and we get rep, kudos points and money and money for um, having leftover vaccines. The epidemic will spread. So if infected people start getting too close to each other, sneezing, you know, coughs and sneezes spread diseases. Let's not forget that. So let's just quickly. All right. So we set those two. I like to slow the game down a bit and let's find someone. There you go. Mummification. That's what it looks like, guys. So click on the patient, go right to the vaccinate, and there we go. Cured. So if we go down here, 
we have three people infected. And staff members can get infected as well. So you can see, just have a little look around. There we go. We had one here. Two. So we've got two more. One here. And then one more. And if um, some of these um, patients actually leave the hospital, then um, it's, it's not good. You can only have a certain number leave the hospital before um, the, the epidemic wasn't resolved. So we got one more. I really need that toilet unblock soon, otherwise we're going to start to be in a bit of a money problem. Where is that? mummified patient the mu there are there they are the mummy ones usually the easiest ones to spot and there we go so we got a decent amount of cash epidemic over perfect so we can put it back to normal speed now and we got 27 patients cured it's not too bad we're we're getting there i think we slowed down a bit but we're getting there and see so what's the next challenge water 10 plants all right we needed that we needed a nice easy one so let's get these plants watered. Ah, that one's just been watered, so that's annoying. Let's get them watered. Uh, there we go. And I'm actually going to copy these toilets while I've still got a bit of money and just stick. Oh, it's 10k. Ah! <laughs> I was going to stick them there because the unblocking of the toilets one, uh, is, as you can see, took a bit of time. So it's not great. Let's see what awards we got. Let's see. We sh I think we should get best research and teaching, maybe this time, at least. Oh, seven. Seven out of eight. Let's get that no deaths one, maybe. So we've got a bit of money for that, so that's great. And promote a staff member is going to be our next. Um, uh, what's it called? Our next challenge, public target. So you can see we've now got two public targets on the go at the same time. Which is going to be helpful. It's always good to have more than one. So promote a staff member. Uh, no. Hang on, did we just... We literally just promoted someone, so we got that money. So I'm just going to quickly... Ooh, jam packed in there. Quickly pause it, because I want to copy... Stick this over here. And I want to build that injection room that I've been harping on about for a bit. It's a nice little treatment area that we've got going here. No, let's get some medicine cabinets in. There we go. And what, we're nearly at, we're nearly 30% through. Come on, stop playing around with me. There we go. Now we're playing ball a bit more. So, oh, come on, let's we need to get those plants watered as well. One more plant to be watered. And that'll net us a decent bit of money as well. I think it's amazing that we you know potentially gonna get well, 50, minimum 50k just for watering 10 months. So let's get these gold stars down. There we go. And I'm going to upgrade the machine. Oh, I think that janitor was watering a plant. I stopped them from doing it. There we go. No to a head office. There we go. We got 50k for water and a plant. Level four surgery. So I know. Oh, let's pause. We got 20k there. 
happy days. So I know I'm not going to build a surgery, not anytime soon. So I'm gonna get rid of that one straight away. Did get a hit to the reputation, but we got a 94% reputation. No worries there. So in terms of doctors, we have three treatment doctors. So we can get away with having another treatment room. And we have two treatment nurses who are still doing nothing. So let's get a treatment room in. And clown clinic or pest control. Let's do pest control. Do, 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 do. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, I obviously did not mean to do that. I'm going to leave just that gap because I am going to eventually move the um, research room and put something else there instead. Eventually. Not quite yet. So we got that down. Now, as always, get those gold stars down. Anytime now. This one, is this one gonna do it? There we go. Get the gold star down, and I'm gonna get that machine ready to be upgraded as well. If you just, oh, just started, yeah. So we got. Yeah, see, we failed the target, so we got minus 10 rep there. But trainer janitor, we'll get another one in quite quickly. We can get this guy trained in mechanic, mechanics maintenance. And what's our next challenge? Promote a staff member. Both should be fairly easy-ish to do. Oh, like this one's gonna get, Ruby's gonna get promoted soon. Oh yeah, he's just been promoted, lucky guy. Sat, ooh, I need to train Sam soon, otherwise he won't be able to get promoted anymore. Same with some of these nurses, so maybe we need to focus on training some nurses. And training Sam as well. Because he's key, because he's making us money. He's getting us that 20k consistently. And it's getting a bit crowded around here, so it may be time soon to think of another GP room. So we've got one, two, three, four GPs. There we go, got a promotion. Four GPs, three rooms. Let's get them hired, because now we can have two nurses just working in the injection room. So that's perfect. Do we need another nurse? What have we got? Two treatment nurses for the one room, that's fine. We've got one, two, three, four, five. Um, five ward nurses, we could do with another. We do another ward nurse because we'll build a fracture ward at some point soon. So I'll get that done and I do want another GP, but no GPs yet. I would take a surgeon whenever they come as well. Stop running away. I want I want to send you home. And what's our fluid analysis? I'm again I'm not gonna build a fluid analysis room. I don't bother with the general diag the diagnosis rooms, the extra diagnosis room, so not gonna do that. So let's get rid of that. Cure 20 patients, give it a go. And see we're nearly at level eleven of our hospital. And we're thirty-three patients. Through 200 research points, no problem. Sam, it's all over that. Got an extra 50k there. I just, I'd really like, I'd really like a, just a, a GP or just a, a nothing doctor. There's a nothing doctor. So I know I said I'll train some of my nurses and I'll train Sam, but I'm just gonna train this GP first. Uday's going to be the one to train them. Yeah, cheers Uday. Get them trained so then I can get that extra, oh, there you go, train a staff member. And then I can get that extra 
GP's office in. Because I'm about to get told off. What's on a Is this room unaffordable? 31k? Oh, I'll leave it for now. Yeah, I'll take that. Yeah, I, I, it, it's going to start to get busier because, like, look, we've got queues of 7 and 7 here. We've got um, 8. Yeah, we, we need we need we need another GP room essentially. That's where I'm getting with us. So we're gonna get those research points in. We're gonna train that staff member, and let's get make sure that they are. Where are they? Only working in that GP's office. Ten days. Well, what we're we gonna do first? Research all the staff. Who's quicker? Oh, it's a race, Sam. You're nearly there. Oh, I don't think you're going to do it. Oh, so close. Unlucky, Sam. But we can now pick up this, copy it, and just get the other GP's office in. Just to calm things down a bit. And we have a unhappy assistant. So, let me just pause it. I'm not going to take that emergency. And then she's are only going to be good here to cure a batch of patients really quickly or um, uh, getting some rep up. So I'm not really that fussed about emergencies. But there we go, just bang in some money um, just to make our staff a bit happier. And it's time for Sam to get trained. And that's an expensive training, Sam, so you best be worth it. And um, we need to wait for one of our janitors to get promoted right on cue. And what have we got? So public type, DNA lab, not going to do. Trainer janitor, I will do. Who's got, who's the person with no training? Oh, I've got a nurse with no training. Oi, let's get that done. Sharpish. Level four surgery. Again, not going to do that. And like, I know it's taking a ding at my reputation, but I can kind of afford it. I'm quite a bit over. So no need to worry about that too much. So we're 15k down. Yeah, resolve that. Level four head office. So it's probably about time we built a head office. And there we go. So we got Sam done. So I'm just going to get this one trained in ward management. Who's going to be best? 165, I think it was. Yeah. 165. Get that done. Oh, I did that just in time. Oh, I need to train a janitor. Darn it. I should have trained a janitor first. Um, ah, that's what I was going to do. I was going to check my doctor. So I've got three doctors, so I can definitely build a head office. So I will, I need to buy another property, move that over there, get a head office in. Let's send them home. And yeah, we need to get this janitor trained. Oh, we have to pay for it as well. Ooh, that might become a bit of an issue. Because we ain't got no money. So I'm just going to cancel these two. I know reputation taking a hit, but again, as I always say, we can handle it. So you can see we're 70k down. It's not great. So hopefully we get a decent one here. Promote staff. Oh, literally just promoted someone. Train a staff member. I will happily train a staff member. No, I said I train nurses. I said I train nurses. I haven't trained nurses in a while. So let's get some ward management. Oh, none of them are already in ward management. Ah, all right. Can't train nurses. Who can I train? Who can I train? Stop, alert, stop coming up. 
I can train some GPs. Yeah, train a couple of GPs. I'll accept that. 250 research points. Okay. It's not actually one of my channels. Alright, and now we've got our mummification. So let's just be on the lookout for anyone moving like a mummy. So where is it? Where is it? Not taking that public target. Um, three more. Keep an eye out for them. Where are they? Where are you guys? I know you're here somewhere. Ah. Uh, keep an eye on you. You sneezed. Prior staff member. There we go. One here. Four. So it's spreading. Yeah, you're definitely. Five. Wow, it's really spreading. So I'm just going to go ahead. I'm just going to bang a couple of them over here. There we go. I'm actually going to move one of these machines as well. It's causing a bit of a queue, like a bit of a, like, yeah, a hot spot queuing zone. There we go. So what, we've got two more to get. Any of them in this area? And we, let me just, how many doctors have I got training? Oh, that's why the rest of them are training. Let's just bang one in here. Two more. See if we can see them. We've got a promotion. There we go. And then one. Wow. Did I say one more? Six more. Oh, wow. So they're clearly somewhere where there's a queue. So not here. Ah, I'm probably going to fail this one. Because there's no one around there. Where are they? There. Are they? Yeah, they're being trained. It's just taking its time. There. So we cannot afford for a single more patient to get infected here because we don't have the vaccines. There. Oh, then we got one more. There, there, there. there. Oh, that was close. That was very close. All right, let's check what we got here. Jess infection, hot fog surgery, no. God, this is taking forever. Come on. Let's get this training done. Need to get that money. And we're nearly halfway through on the number of patients uh, cured. We've got a bit of money there, but it didn't last very long at all. And we got another target to promote a staff member. Oh, got this one. Oh, Rachel. Let's. Rachel, Rachel, Rachel. Let's get you promoted. Nurse required an injection. This should be a fairly easy one. Although, I think I, think I actually need more psychiatrists, so. Um, just take all my psychiatrists off the uh, off the floor, and we've got the nice easy water ten plants. So let's get this. Oh, oh, I didn't mean to sell that plant. Let's 
pause just because I want to do a few things just before the the old expenses come back through. One, return that plant. Two, get this research on the way again. I would love to hire some more doctors and nurses. No, unmotivated. So this doctor is going to work in the DNA lab once I get one, which hopefully won't be too long. I do need more psychiatrists though, big time. Come on, how are those plants done? 450k in the red. There we go, we got a promotion in, so that's going to be good. And what's on other? Oh, water one more plant, and we're also good. Promote a staff member. Well, we're going to promote Rachel very, very quickly. And let's see what our next one is. And we're really close to getting that 50, cured 50 patients. That'll be bang on halfway. There we go. Rachel, you have been promoted. So, 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 so. I desperately want to train some of these nurses because I need to get at least one trained and it's going to cost. So... I'm going to pay that just to get those two trained. And let's get things going away. again. Generate the research points. Are you tired, Sam? No, you're not. You're good. You're just coming back from your break, so I'm helping you out. Getting you there quicker. Let's get this machine upgraded. Why, why are you repairing? Ah, I've set you to be able to repair. No repairing. Only these two repair. In fact, all you do is repair. There we go. And we can upgrade some of these a bit more. Mm. No, I'm going to cancel them just because they're... I forgot the 20k. It's a bit expensive. Back, although we are about to get some money here. Alright, I can't remember why I wanted another doctor. Why did I want another doctor, guys? I knew, I know there's a reason why. So what have we got? GP's fine. We've got our one research. Ah, psychiatrist. We want another psychiatrist. So... Rachel, if you don't mind doing the honours, thanking you kindly. Let's send the patient home. And look, we're 54 patients cured. Train a staff member, that's going to happen right here. And promote a staff member. And that should happen soonish as well. Let's see who's close to promotion. Ellie here. We, are we blocking anyone from being promoted? Yes, we are. Nelly. So let's see if we can get Nelly done next if no one gets promoted in the time. And I did want to buy another building. So I'm going to do that. It's a risky one. It's a decent chunk of money. But get it done. Not going to accept that emergency, mainly because I've not accepted any emergency so far. But um, because... I am down a psychiatrist at the moment because they're training. I thought we were pretty light on the old janitor front. Do with an extra cleaner. So who better than one that's already trained with ghost capture? No, I'm gonna let them do everything actually. For now. Yeah, they'll they'll come anytime now. Let's 
so sorry Sam. I keep on moving you. Because I don't want you to be distracted by any of the others. You're far too important for that. Far too important to be distracted. And let's just see in terms of we got three and we got one room for them. So we can get another and let's do the head office because it's a four by four and so it'll fit just nicely here. Get it nice and close to the door. Get a, uh, put a fire extinguisher here. Let's get a radiator in just here and then let's plunk down some gold stars. time now there we go I even think we can get that upgrade straight off the bat oh we did that just in time just in time so what we want to promote a staff member I'm pretty yeah we're blocking that one from being promoted but unfortunately we cannot train them at the moment. So nurses wise, what have we got? Quite a few that need to be trained in ward management too. Let's just, let's just get three of them done. I've got quite a lot of nurses at the moment. And hopefully we'll get someone promoted soon. So let's see what awards we're getting. Decent. Six. I'm really happy with that. Really happy. We got some toilets to unblock. So let's quickly get these done. Hopefully just get that money in nice and quick. Because we've now got six toilets, which just hopefully makes it slightly easier. We've still got to promote one staff member. We're pretty good on the hospital level front. We'll just tick that over when it gets to it. And we cured 58 out of 100 patients. Let's get you in there, Rachel. Drop you in there. Yeah, toilets do need routine servicing. I want them serviced. We've unblocked three at the moment. We've got six, four, five, six, seven there. One there. That should be good, right? Yeah, we got loads of people unblocking at the moment. Perfect. Maintenance announcement. Toilets need routine. There we go. Research done. Sam, you're a wizard. You're a wizard, Sam. As always. And we got a promotion. Pretty sure that was a yeah, that was a target. So let's see, what have we got training wise? We're gonna need to stop paying for some training soon, which is unfortunate. We can get another nurse done in ward management. 165, let's get that one done. There we go. And we're 61 patients then, so we're doing pretty well. So let's get one more toilet unblocked. And I think we will Thermal comfort of 8%. Easy. Oh, this is the easiest one of the lot. Large radio. One. Two. 75k for that. Nice. 75k. Happy days. Alright, let's check. In terms of GPs, we've got one, two, three, four. We've got five GPs, three rooms. It's enough for now. Although we do have this one, Tyler's. Screw it. I'm gonna get one more because I'm gonna justify it. Um, because we are gonna need to hire more because we need to get our hostel level up to eventually 16. So we're gonna need that help there. Um, we have a motivated litterer. I'm gonna hire them 
because I'm going to want them either in the DNA lab or I'm going to want them as a surgeon. So we'll just wait and see for now. We've got a nice little treatment room over here, but we've still got room for more stuff. So we can we could build the fracture ward, the clown clinic, pans lab, deluxe clinic, DNA lab. Let's do a fracture ward. Before I do that, let's stick this in the corner. I don't really care about the radiator going. It's going to bring our thermal comfort down, but hopefully we'll get another challenge to bring the thermal comfort up. Because the trick is, if your thermal comfort's too high, you're never going to get a challenge on it. So there you go. So let's stick this quite close to the door. As always, fire extinguisher, large radiator, gold stars. And we'll train that doctor when it comes up in the DNA lab. There we go. Let's get that upgrade in. And I'm just going to wait for this training to be done. And then I'm actually going to do some trainings. Uh, vaccines. Uh, I was going to do some trainings. Um, that is going to cost some money. See here, thermal comfort. Oh, I can't buy any bloody radiators right now. Let's quickly do this um, emergency. One, just keep your eyes peeled. Two, I oh, see we got to level 12 naturally there. Oh, we got a challenge of unblocking eight toilets as well. So let's get that on the go. I mean, these toilets aren't as used, that's for sure. Let's see, where are they? Where are mummification patients? I have a feeling there's going to be some in that bunch there. Getting quite busy the hospital now. Quite busy indeed. We're too infected. Where are you? Mm, I feel like I would have seen them by now if they were down here. Aha! Uh -huh. See that sneeze? But it's going to have infected these people here though. Here. So we got one more. Ah, right there. I'm just about to send them home. There we go. So we can quickly do this radiator again. There we go. And now sell it. We got our 50. Well, we got a decent chunk of money there anyway. So let's get Uday trained. Let's get that GP level up. Just train the one of them for now. Got a bit of a cue there. And I am gonna I'm gonna cut the video here. Um, we're pretty close on everything. Um, we're absolutely smashing it up here, and we have cured 62 patients. So we're uh, Get in there, and the number 38 to go, right? Let's just flag these. Oh, I said I was gonna stop, so I am gonna stop. So thank you very much for watching. As always, if you found this video useful, don't forget to like it, leave me a comment, and Uday, Rachel, and Simon, I'm expecting lots of comments from you guys. I wanna make sure that you're watching. I've named these, these amazing doctors after you, and they're, they're absolutely smashing at this level. So I'm expecting comments for you guys. And finally, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to see more content just like this. Thank you very much, and I'll catch you on the next episode. Bye for now.